What's up, everybody? Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show Sunday morning edition. And baby, we are not messing around. In the beginning of the year, we said we are dedicated to building this channel, to blowing this channel out, to creating a massive resource for you to dramatically improve your life by bringing you the most honest, actionable, and evidence-based information. Today, we're talking about cardio and really how much is too much cardio? How much cardio should you really do to maximize your goals? We're going to break that down in this quick video, and then I'm going to answer any of your questions in the live chat. So please feel free to leave any questions right now. I'll answer them at the end of my little rant here or edutorial, I think we'll call it. And if you have not yet, consider subscribing to this channel so you get updates when new videos like this come out. We're putting 15, 16, 17 videos, let's say 15 new videos per week we're pumping out on this channel and they are all amazing. So do not miss one. Also, please leave questions below these videos after they post. Your questions literally fuel the topics on this channel. So now we're talking about cardio for, well, when people think about cardio, they think about cardio and fat loss, cardio and fat loss, cardio and fat loss. And that is true. That term is used interchangeably for fat loss associated exercise. But when I, as a practitioner, hear the term cardio, well, I think more of cardiac health. We have cardiorespiratory health. We have cardiovascular health. And when we are performing cardio, well, we're, we're really focused on enhancing, training, strengthening, improving the cardiovascular and respiratory system. So keep that in mind. And this is a longevity-based approach to living a healthier, better, better life. But with that, we can now focus on cardio-specific training for body augmentation, which means, well, losing body fat. But did you also know that increasing cardio can improve your ability to gain muscle tissue? Many people don't realize that adding 10 to 20 minutes of cardiovascular exercise, I'll just say cardio because I always say cardiovascular, cardiorespiratory, I'll just say cardio. Adding 10 to 20 minutes of cardio per day can improve your ability to gain muscle tissue, even if your goal is not specifically to lose body fat. Maybe you're in a lean bulking phase or a strength gaining phase or a, uh, a, a lean taining phase. Is that what they're calling it now? Regardless. So I want to talk now about how much cardio is right for you. And I want to break down the different archetypes of cardio utilization. Number one is you're a rank novice. You don't have a lot of training experience. You want to start getting back into training or at the first time start training at all. And you know you need to exercise. Four-time world MMA trainer of the year. Number one best-selling author, right? Listen to me for a moment. The first step to any exercise program is establishing a cardio program. That is as simple as walking. We work with people who are morbidly obese, who are coming back from quadruple pie passes, who had severe pregnancy complications and many other conditions in life. The first exercise modality we usually look towards, and everyone's specific, that's why I say usually and generally, is simply walking. Walking is the most ideal form of exercise for humans. And let me give you a little uh, bonus here. Humans, we are not very fast, fast. When it comes to being a land animal, think about this. We're an animal. We're, we're an animal. When it comes to land animals, we are not very fast. When it comes to a land animal, we're not very strong. When it comes to a land animal, put us in the, the African Sahara. Put us in the Everglades. Put us up on the Appalachian Trail. We're actually not physically um, suited to do very well when we compete against the other land animals. But the one thing we are very good at, we are very good as bipedal organisms. That's what you and I are as, as humans. We are bipedal organisms. We are very good at walking very long distances at relatively slow paces. That's our specialty. 
and humans are nomadic as a species, which has led to the proliferation of the human species around the world. We're very good at walking very far distances, like across continents. We're very good at walking very far distances at very low paces because we have a very specific um, energy substrate system built specifically for this. And when we do not utilize that system, we are underperforming our genetics and our biology and physiology. So I hope, I hope you're with me here. Now, what does this mean? This means in order to excel as a human, we must build the baseline of an aerobic base by performing cardio. Start with 10 minutes. If you are out of shape, under your doctor's care, of course, under your doctor's supervision, this is not medical advice. I am not a medical doctor, although... My initials are MD. That's interesting, though, by the way. It's put on our tinfoil hat here. But really, let's get walking. Let's get out and get walking. And we want to get to 30 minutes. And 30 minutes of walking per day, every single day, well, that is the entry level to the next phase. Once we can establish 30 minutes of cardio, which we will now call LIS, low intensity, steady state, cardiovascular activity, 30 minutes per day, every single day. Well, now we can start to level up. We can start adding a little bit more intensity. We can start adding a little bit more volume. We can walk slightly faster, slightly farther. Awesome. Or, and specifically, we can start adding body weight specific exercises. And we go from performing cardio to performing body weight, to performing light resistance, moderate resistance, and then heavier loads with high intensity. And we start adding intervals into that. These are each one of these are separate videos, but I want to keep it clear on how much cardio is ideal for you. Now, the average person, now let's say you are an intermediate. You're, you're past the novice phase. You've broken into the beginner phase. You can walk 30 minutes. You've consistently been walking 30 minutes or doing light elliptical or light bicycling or even light sw swimming if that's easy enough for you for 30 minutes, five to seven days per week. Now we can start to break this up a little bit. Remember, low intensity, steady state cardiovascular activity allows you to do this every single day with zero, near zero impact on your ability to recover. And when I ask you how much cardio is too much, or when you ask me really, am I doing enough or too much cardio? I always ask, how are you recovering? Most people are lethargic throughout their day. Now, we have to rule out you're not sleeping enough. Let's say because you are a Dolce Diet audience member, you are getting seven and a half to nine hours of sleep every night. Let's say you're not eating properly, you're not fueled properly, you do not have the proper micronutrients and phytochemicals to act as catalyst for all cellular activity as a cellular organism that you are. So you're eating high net healthful whole foods. Yes, so you're eating right, you're sleeping right, you, you broke up with the crazy girlfriend. You're paying your bills on time. You got a job you actually enjoy. Your car maintenance is up to date. So you're not stressed out anymore. So you have no undue stress. You're getting proper sleep. You're eating well. And then now we move into exercise. This is the least important, by the way. You're getting your, as an intermediate trainee, which is like two years of training or so, relative training. You had a little bit of high school athletic background. You fell off a little bit. You got back on. You've been consistent. And now you're, you're, you're training consistently and intelligently. We need you to be performing a minimum of 30 minutes of list cardio four days per week. That would be our ideal. A minimum of 30 minutes, four days per week. Now we can start adding slightly higher or moderate intensity cardiovascular activity to this routine, which means you're walking Monday and Tuesday. You go for a light jog on Wednesday and Saturday. On Sunday, now you can perform, maybe you can go for a 90-minute to three-hour hike or more half-day hike which is great, much more of a glycolytic activity using stored glycogen expressed as glucose, as opposed to low intensity cardio, where you're using more stored body fat as the primary fuel source. So on Sunday, you can start extending these moderate cardiovascular outputs, these, these, these miss sessions, or you can get on the assault bike, you can get on the rower, and you can perform high intensity interval training. As you now progress out of intermediate into advanced, well, you can start doing more low intensity or low intensity, let's say three days a week, 
you can start adding one to two sessions of your high intensity interval training and one to two sessions of your moderate intensity interval training. So what would that be? Walking on Monday, jogging on Tuesday, sprinting on Wednesday, walking on Thursday, jogging on Friday, sprinting on Saturday, and then Sunday is more active recovery, GPP, go for a hike, go for a swim, go play soccer in the park with the kids, you know, go walk the boardwalk with your sweetie and whatever else that is. That right there, my friends, is the ideal, the ideal cardio program for the average healthy athletic adult. And everyone listening, everyone watching right now, even if you're starting, remember, as a rank novice with no training experience and some, some physical limitations, you can progress from those 10-minute walks every day to 11 minutes to 12 minutes to 13 minutes to 14 minutes over the course of a few weeks and even months over the course of a season which is not a long amount of time considering your entire 20, 30, 40, 50 years on this planet. We're talking about a few weeks to a few months to go from a rank level entry novice of 10 minute walks per day and then slowly to 11 and to 12 into the point that now you're walking 30 minutes a day, Monday through Sunday. We want to get that seven days and then we can go from list to miss to hit, have that broken up and specialized. Now, Let's say you really are at that exit level intermediate into the advanced and you have very specific training goals. Now you're squatting double body weight, double body weight back squat, double body weight plus deadlift. You're, you're overhead pressing 65 to 85% of your body weight. Now you're really starting to get after it. You're really starting to get stronger. Now we have to take into consideration, remember I said recovery. Are you recovering because you have a much higher training demand? You are, are demanding more of your central nervous system, your capacity to recover. And there's only so much recovery that we have available. And if now you're training high intensity with resistance, three days a week, four days a week, five days a week, if you're doing heavy bag work in Muay Thai class or you're sparring, you're doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you're going to the CrossFit gym, you're doing Spartan races or you know long bike rides, this is taking away from your recovery. In that, we look to our cardio blocks and we can say, you know what? If I'm training on the Muay Thai bag, ha -da -da -da, three minutes on, one minute off, three minutes on, one minute off, I probably need to pull off those high intensity assault bike sprints. You don't need to do the hit training anymore because now you're doubling up in a way that is holding you back. And the point of this video, how much cardio is too much? And is your cardiovascular routine holding you back? Many times it is because you double up with your high intensity training and then you do it again with your cardio training. And that makes no sense. If you're swinging kettlebells and doing uh, whatever they do, the CrossFitters do, they jump over the bar, but it's like a barbell. They jump over the barbell and go to the ground and they come back up and jump back over and they swing a kettlebell. I don't know what they're doing, <laughs> but I understand the energy systems that they're using. If you're already training at that level of intensity with, with a, a relative work to rest interval, well, you don't need to do that in the morning on your assault bike or on your elliptical or on your Peloton. You're duplicating work that does nothing beneficial and simply erodes your ability to recover. In that place, what would we do? We would add low intensity training, which is suited to our species. Again, we're very good at this. Our body adapts and recovers very well from this. And walking at low intensities is a great way. It's a restorative, active recovery module. Walking at low intensities will actually help you recover from the high intensity training sessions you did the night before or prepares you for the high intensity training session you might do later on that day. So to close this loop before I answer your questions is we want to start with a wide aerobic base. The wider the aerobic base, simply walking, the higher the glycolytic peak will be. The larger your aerobic capacity is, the more uh, force you can exert for longer periods of time, the higher your VO2 max will be at the peak. And think about a pyramid. The wider the base on the pyramid, the higher the peak will be at the top. The shorter, the smaller the aerobic base, you simply will, be, will not be able to perform at those very high levels. So we want to build out the aerobic base, and then we want to start through list training. 
Then we want to start adding miss training, which is jogging, right? List is walking, miss is jogging. Hit is sprinting in intervals. And then we talk about hurt, high intensity resistance training, kettlebells. And I would put MMA training and such into that. I hope this is helpful. I hope this is, I wanted to make this as simple as possible, knowing we have an eclectic audience from rank level, entry level, never trained before, even trying to find a way and you stumble across this channel. Thank you for being here to advanced athletes. We have world champion, world-class athletes watching this channel right now. And you need the, you need information also. Anytime I teach any class that I've ever run, I've always been able to have an elite pro athlete stand right next to a first timer and they both get an equally amazing workout relative to them using the principles that we're discussing right now. So you can actually train side by side with the world champion, push yourself to 100% of your own ability at the same time so you can each have 100% effectiveness of your workout while still not performing the same amount of sets and reps with, with percentages of one RM, let's say. So we wash away a lot of the misconceptions here. Now, let me answer some questions for you. Omar, boom, first baby, thumbs up. Let me take a sip here. Um, California, yo, always, always fire, always fire. We're working hard for you. Rep it. Says cardio for life. Cardio, we got to do it every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, every cardio. You're a human. Not performing cardiovascular, cardiorespiratory activity is like not breathing. It's like not drinking water. Humans were designed to walk far distances at slow paces. To not do this is to reject your physiology, your biology, to reject your purpose on this planet. So true. Not yo says, hi, I'm on the treadmill right now. Pull day in list. Hell yeah. F you, which means effing unbelievable con content. That is for the algorithm. If you see that F you Dolce, F you whatnot, um, that, that's for the algorithm. And guys and gals, please consider subscribing to this channel for great videos like this. We put out two videos a day, Monday through Friday, one video Saturday, one video Sunday. We're putting out tons of great content for you. Consider subscribing to this channel to also help us grow this channel. The goal is to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of summer. That is my personal goal. But to do that, we have to break through the YouTube shadow ban, the uh, whatever that, that AI you know crappy ban that we got for telling people personal accountability during this this you know time of 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 the world um sickness i guess you could say we never said don't do what the cdc says we said do what the cdc says but also you have to take your personal health into your own hands you have to get your bmi in check you have to start exercising you have to pay attention to what you're eating you have to be a healthier version of yourself to protect yourself from all the bad stuff happening out there and we got slapped with a serious shadow ban but we're slowly shaking free from that because you guys are here watching right now. So thank you. Uh, Repping says, can you critique my natural physique? Absolutely. You can go to, actually, I can show you. Bam, if you go to thedolcediet.com, here is our uh, website. You can click the link below. We actually have a four-week and 12-week personalized diet and exercise program you follow. We also have an online coaching. You click the online coaching right there. You hire me for 30 days. Um, lots of information here. I can provide you with specific workouts and recipes and meal plans and all that great stuff. Um, so that's clicking the online coaching button up top and I can happily do, um, physique review critiques, um, help you. We work with a lot of bodybuilders, physique competitors, bikini competitors. So I, I every single day, my phone is, is loaded, um, with physique review and, and, and all that stuff. And helping people prep and prepare also mixed martial artists and, and collegiate wrestlers and whomever. And then just regular folks looking to get in the best shape of their life. So click the link below and, and you can certainly join um, yeah, any of the programs. This is my Sunday mass. Let's go, baby. Let's go, pizza boy. I'm not yo said dynamic warm up for five to ten minutes. List before weights, list after weights, dynamic before dynamic warm up before. Always dynamic warm up before. We go from a dynamic warm up to an athletic warm up to a skill specific warm up to the meat of the training program and we can cover that in about 12 to 18 minutes. Angel Sunday fun day my brother just finished food shopping with my client about to start prepping her food for the week week 7 on the Dolce diet for her Dolce diet over everything because it works. 
right? Our programs work, I believe, better than ever, ever, anything else. We have a 100% success ratio for over 20 years working with the world's most elite athletes, the Three Weeks to Shredded program. You can click the link below to join. And you look at these great testimonials of regular folks, right? Regular folks, bang, 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 absolutely cr crushing their goals. These people um, are absolutely amazing, and they are all equally easily visible. The testimonial page at thedolcediet.com, you can take a quick little look, and you can see some of these amazing, I mean, Pamela lost 83 pounds on the Dolce diet. Scotty wound up winning our, our $1,000 to shredded um, contest a, a year or two ago. Edwin dramatically changed his life. He had some serious health issues. Now, I mean, Edwin, what a great, phenomenal uh, change that was for him. Just check it out. Check out the Dolce diet.com if you guys are interested. Our Angel, Klein is down 15 pounds. Hell yeah. Pizza Boy says, Coach, the wife and I caught the COVID. She's struggling, but I seem to be handling it well. Both vaccinated. She's 37 weeks pregnant. Pray for us. You are in our prayers. Breakfast bowl is keeping me going right now. Absolutely. It's insane. You're vaccinated. You're both vaccinated. You both caught COVID. You're both having very similar, the exact same symptoms, the exact same issues as those who are unvaccinated. God, please, I hope I'm not going to get shadow banned for saying that term in this video because that's literally the way YouTube has been treating us. So please if, support me, support this channel, subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen, please to help battle back against the algorithm. But Pizza Boy, listen to your doctor, speak with your doctor, listen to your doctor, question everything question everything with your doctor listen to your doctor but at the same time enhance your health high net nutrient healthful whole foods lots and lots and lots of water no synthetic toxic chemicals no processed foods no garbage lots of sleep lots of recovery don't worry about working out hard but getting sunshine is beneficial when you get to the point that you feel like you can get some sunshine get outside go for a walk and Grab your mail, go for a walk down the street, around the block, get outside, breathe some fresh air, tell your body it is time to thrive, that you are alive, it is time to move, right? That would be my friendly suggestion to you, but be very healthy, be, be careful. Um, Andrew says, during my wrestling tournaments, we have a lot of double weigh-ins. So weigh in Saturday, morning wrestle all day, then weigh in Sunday and wrestle again. Do you have any tips? Yes, get your weight lower. Walk around lighter and healthier. Be closer to your weight class year round. That's what August, September, and October are for. If you wrestle, August, September, and October are designed to get yourself down to your competition weight within 4% of, con of competition weight. We're working with high level D1 NCAA wrestlers right now with, with, with scholastic wrestlers at the high school level right now. And this is the protocol. We do not want to play sloppy catch up during the season because you didn't exercise, you didn't diet, you didn't get your body weight in check in the off season, the preseason, now you're in season and you're still going out to Taco Bell the night after your tournament, eating pizza the next day, having a big fat breakfast the next day, and then you crash diet back into your next um, weigh-in. Not saying you're doing that, Andrew, but I guarantee the majority of your team and your opposition is doing that. Normalize your body weight year round. You will be fucking amazed. Flying Fish, thanks, Coach. This is great information. Have you ever did a, a Gracie diet breakdown? I have not done a Gracie diet breakdown, although I have trained under Professor Henzo Gracie. I'm friends with many of the Gracies, and I've traveled the world with Hiran and Horian Gracie speaking about the Gracie diet, so I do believe I have quite a bit of expertise. You know, that's a great, great, great topic. I should start doing breakdowns of popular diets. Why have we not thought of this? How fun would that be where I can break down other diets? There's some diets that I think are great, some diets that are horrible, and some diets that have a little bit of good and, and a little bit of bad. I'll start doing breakdowns for you guys. And leave comments below. If you, if you want to see me do some diet breakdowns, tell me the diet you want me to see go over. Not in the chats, but af in the comments after this video posts so, because that lives on in perpetuity, and I'll be able to go back to it. Adam says, is alternating lifting and boxing work every day a good split? So Monday pull with deadlift, Tuesday boxing, Wednesday push with squats, Thursday boxing. Yeah, I like that, Adam. That's a good split right there. Henrik, martial arts, four days a week is my only hit so I can recover for strength the next day. Smart. This is my cardio. Strength three times a week. 
39 years old, works well with extra rest days sometimes. Henrik, you are fucking crushing it, brother. Spot on, my man. You are in. You know what you're doing. You're crushing it. And, I mean, you look around. You're in better shape than nearly every other person you come across. So, congratulations, brother. I'm proud of you. KB, what's up, Dolce? How do you feel about oven-roasted potatoes and steak as a dinner staple? Any problems with white potatoes? Nope. Love the content always. Thank you, sir. I literally just had that today, Sunday, I think Thursday or Friday night. We had roasted white potatoes, asparagus, and some bavette steak from Certified Piedmontese, which is right there. Click the link below if you want grass-fed, grass-finished steak delivered to your door in two days or less with free shipping. And save 25% with promo code Dolce. This is the only meat I trust to feed my family. My freezer is filled with Certified Piedmontese. The quality is amazing. At a lesser price and more conveniently delivered than if you went to a traditional supermarkets with that Dolce promo code. And I do not get a cut of your discount. That 25% goes directly to you. So whether you use it or not, I get no cut of it. You guys get all that cut. And I, I thought that was very important because I don't want to be motivated by pushing sales. I simply want to share with you the benefit. Certified Piedmontese. Check them out. Um, answer that. Brian Henley, my man. On the way to Soccer Sunday, always in the best shape thanks to the Dolce Diet. Bam, Brian, I'm proud of you, man. Always crushing it, living the lifestyle, my man. Keep it going. Good luck today. Stormtrooper, been walking 40 minutes every day. Hell yeah, Stormtrooper. That is freaking awesome. Keep it up. How great do you feel? How emotionally balanced are you? This is one thing that people don't consider. They think, oh, you know, cardio, 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 fat loss, fat loss, fat loss. We say, hey, go for a walk. I solve all the problems in my life on my walks. All the problems in the world I can think about and I can work through while I'm walking alone with, with no podcast. Sometimes I podcast, but usually I'm just by myself walking and thinking, you know, training my body, um, burning body fat, working on my, my cardio health. But also emotionally, I'm, I'm centering myself and psychologically speaking, I'm working through all the stressful situations in my life. Um, love from Sweden to you and your fam. <laughs> Pizza boy, right on, Henrik. Very cool. Good, good, good. Coach, have you ever made a living lean pizza on the Ezekiel Sprouted Grain Tortillas? Highly recommend. Have we? I don't remember if we have. We do have the Dolce Feta pizza that we make and we use a few different crusts. Brandy makes those, though. I'm, I forget which crust she actually used. I think we have used the Sprite of Grain before. Bellin says, hey, how much is too much cardio after weight training session if I haven't done cardio fast in the morning? Uh, Bellin, good to see you. Probably 20 minutes is getting close to the max because you've already trained at a high level for 30 to 60 minutes, most likely. Well, if you're training more than 75 minutes at high intensities, you're not training at high intensity. You cannot train much more than 60 or so minutes at high intensity when you're training resistance unless you're training just really slow more of like a power lifting style but if you're not a competitive power lift you want to train slightly faster at high much higher intensity so you're out of that out of the, the gym in 60 minutes or so so but adding an extra and i would say only add 10 minutes 10 minutes of light walking after that workout and then slowly add 15 and then up to 20, that should be about all you need to dramatically recomposition your body. KB says, yeah, thank you, sir. I will check out Certified Piedmontese. My family appreciates you. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. The grass-fed, grass-finished, that is my jam. That's what we order from almost exclusively. We get the liver. Their liver is awesome. And anybody who likes hot dogs, their grass-fed, grass-finished hot dogs, are pretty bomb. We don't eat them every day, but we always have them in the freezer when we feel like hot dogs. It's a certified Piedmontese. So click that link below. Use the Dolce promo code. Hook it up. Yo, coach, what do you think of milk? Is it good or not? No, I'm not a fan of milk. Too much digestive discomfort for the vast majority of the population. What's going on here? Sorry about that. My wife, I will text her right back. Um, so, the, the coach, uh, have you ever made a living? No, answer that. Answer that. Um, what do you think of milk? Is it good? Okay, fine. Now, so we'll, we'll use like oat milk or almond milk. We'll use alternate milks simply because of the lactose. The lactose in milk is very difficult to digest once humans get past puberty or so. Prior to puberty, 
our digestive environment, we have specific enzymes that allow us to deal with that lactose. Once we get through puberty, we actually lose that. And there's, there's certain, I believe it's more of like the, is it Eastern or Western Europe? There's certain cultures that have a horrible time. They just simply lack the enzyme, culturally speaking, to break down milk. Other cultures have a much higher um, ability, much greater ability to break down lactose, right? So I am, am much more capable of dealing with lactose than my very fair-skinned um, European descended wife, right? Brandy's, you know, blonde, blue eyes, very, you know, you know fair skin, let's say. I forget. I think her family are like from the you know, Russian kind of like of, of high uh, Russian ethnicity. So I don't know what that I have to do more of a genealogical um, you know, deep dive to really figure this out. I used to have it, you know, kind of partially in my mind, lost it now, where my family comes from Sicily and Native American. And I think it, it's that Sicilian background that actually allows me um, a little bit more of the digestion benefit of lactose. But again, I am speaking off the cup. This is very anecdotal. So don't kind of like quote me on it per se. But you do know that some people can deal with dairy, and some people, can, they can't even like have a sip without just being doubled over in super cramps. But most people have a, an issue. So we just avoid it altogether. Why take the risk? It's like playing Russian roulette with your gut. Just, we'll just have some oat milk. It's delicious. Um, oh, Cole, sorry to hear, man. Had to put his dog of 16 years down, unfortunately. But I used her loss as fuel for my hard workout today. Amen, my brother. I understand. That's Animals are the, 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 the most amazing creatures on the planet, dogs specifically, and they will rip your heart out. They will rip your heart out in 10 to 15 years. And that, that's, a, that's a horrible thing. Our beautiful little Zoe, the, the uh, American pit bull rescue, we rescued her at about eight weeks from a meth head outside of a Walmart uh, back in Las Vegas in 2010. I think she was born in 2009. So she's 12 years old right now. And, uh, you know, we're like... Man, like we're just doing everything we can to keep her as healthy and and well fed and properly fueled and and loved as possible. Um, you know, so every every moment matters. Every moment matters. I, I put a, a quote out earlier in the week that said, "Days are long, but years are short." We all go through our day. Now I just can't wait to get home, and this sucks, and this sucks. Can't wait to get home to sit my ass on the couch and watch TV. And then you look back and you're like, holy shit, it's 2022 already. Are you freaking kidding me right now? It's 2020. We were, it was just like, wasn't it just 2020? Two years have just blown by. But when we focus on the day, we're just trying to get through our day, get through the weekend. We're not even, we're not present. We're not here. We're not focused on what really matters. And then we look back and we're like, my God, this is going so fast. Life is going so fast. I mean, you know, blew through Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's. It's almost February. January is already half over. We're getting into February soon. And then pretty soon it's going to be summertime. And then it's going to be Christmas again. Right? It's, it's pretty crazy. Uh, Bill N says, up to 20 minutes after a heavy workout for burning fat. I'm training as heavy as I can, but sometimes I don't feel totally dead after a workout. Up to 20 minutes. I'd say 20 minutes max. And if you don't feel totally dead after a workout, well, that's not always a bad thing. Are you tracking your workouts? Are you tracking your workouts? Are you tracking your workouts? Can you look back and say, last week on squats, I did this weight for these many reps with this rest period in between. The week before, the week before, the week before, the week before, you can see exactly like son of a gun. I'm making progressive improvements every single workout. I'm pushing myself farther and farther and farther and farther. Or... Or are you just kind of going in and getting a workout and being like, oh, that was a good one. I feel pretty good. I got a little pump. Push yourself. Yeah, and you probably are, Bellin, but push yourself. Write it down. Track it. If you can measure it, you can improve it. We love your content. Well, thank you so much. It is an honor. I, I love and appreciate everybody, everybody here, everybody in our community. You guys are all awesome. Cole rescued the pup from a crackhead in Pennsylvania when she was four weeks old. Very similar. Um, she lived to be 16 and a half. She ate every dinner we ever had, including chicken, pasta, meatball, sauces. That's funny. That's awesome. Very sweet. Good for you, Cole. Well, you know, my, my, my sympathies to you. Storm Trooper, I feel better. Best to walk at a park. Trails clears my mind. Oh, and a cup of coffee before. Oat milk cappuccino with a little cinnamon right there. 
Sam says it feels like 2020 sometimes. Yep. And the uh, the political elite want us to stick in 2020, right? So they can, can they can rule us. They can control us. That is my opinion. We look around at all the propaganda, right? We're not allowed to think for ourselves. We're not allowed to ask questions. We're not allowed to do what is best for us. We must conform, conform, conform. And both sides, both sides, I'm, I'm, I'm very moderate, right? I'm kind of in between. Um, both sides are trying to control us. You know, anyone who's in political power, they want that freaking power and they want power over the people. And that is unfortunate. But we are free thinking. We are health minded. And I say you need to build a moat around your life so people cannot interfere with your life. You have to build a health and fitness moat. You have to be the purveyor of your own health and fitness. You cannot delegate that to the government or anyone else around you, you are in charge of your personal health, which is why we get up and get after it every single day, which is why I come on here every single day and have conversations like this with you, speaking about the importance of personal health. You also must build a money moat around yourself, your life, your family. So you are not dependent on other people. You're not dependent on the government. You don't have to worry. Nobody can come in and touch you and bother you and, and interfere with you, with your life, with the way you want to live. That is the money moat. That's something you need to focus on also. So you have your health moat, you have your money moat, and then just push everything away. My children have no idea there's a pandemic happening. My six-year-old, soon to be seven and five-year-old, they have no idea what's going on in the world. We pulled them from school. We build a moat around, built a moat around our family. We're not masking our children up to sit in school for six to eight hours per day in little plastic cubicles, no effing way, with crazy teachers who are constantly jabbering about the, the, the Rona. No freaking way. We're not doing that. We pulled our kids. We homeschool our kids. We, we, we do the things that we want to do in our own little plot of land here. Our kids have no idea because they don't have context. They can't understand it. And children need safety. They need security. They need stability. They do not need you, parents, or their teachers, or their aunts and their uncles, or their crazy friends, parents, or their neighbors, pushing adult anxieties into children on topics that children do not understand. That is our opinion anyway, as parents. Our children have no idea anything's going on in the world. They just think that they are living the best effing life ever for two little six-year-old and five-year-old children. Now, if they were in high school, completely different conversation. It's contextual to the age of our children. That's a little side rant right now. Daniel, what's the best way to record workouts, i.e. weights, sets, and reps? I literally... I, I get these dollar notebooks, spiral bound notebooks from the dollar store. I got stacks and stacks and stacks. I used to be marble copy book. Those are you know, harder to find for whatever reason these days. Um, everything I have is just written down old school. Get yourself a pen and a piece of paper in a book and I have it dated. You know, when I, I start the date. So it's like January 1st, it'll say it on the front and then all the way through until I run out of paper. January 1st to March 17th, 2020. And I just stack that. I got, I got stacks of all my workouts over all the years, all together, little pieces of paper. Super simple. Um, Balan says, I know you promote organic meat. What about chicken? How bad is regular chicken? Regular chicken? How bad is regular chicken? Not organic. My husband and me are trying to eat as organic. And we stopped Splenda after your videos about sweeteners. Balan, that is awesome. Everything as organic as possible, as wild caught as possible, as untampered by man's greedy little hands as possible. That's the issue, right? So there is, there's, there's chicken. We get free range chicken that does not always have the organic stamp on it, but it's from a company that uses all organic meats. They just didn't pay the extra $50,000 a shipment or whatever it turns out to be from the FDA to get that little stamp. Now the stamp does matter and it does help because there's a lot of checks and balances there. But in general, you want to get your food as local as possible, as organic as possible, in its natural state as possible. We always say unmolested by man's greedy little hands. Because once man starts to get their hands onto your food supply, they minimize the quality so they can maximize the profit. So keep that in mind. Uh, Daryl just started avoiding hit on lift days about two weeks ago. And I'm noticing a huge boost in my energy for lifts and able to maintain my daily list. My man, you got it. That's exactly what we're talking about, Daryl. And thank you for being a subscriber to the channel. Everyone sees Daryl has that, that S that means he is a subscriber with a badge. You can click below this video. There's a little join 
click that join button so we know you're a subscriber and we're going to start hosting um, events here with special guests and have live Q and A's that only the badge holding subscribers will be able to ask questions of uh, doctors and scientists and, and celebrities and pro athletes will be joining us on this channel here in the next few weeks. Everybody can watch, but only those with the badges will be able to um, actively engage. And that's just so we know that you're a subscriber. So subscribe to the channel. That's awesome. And then um, click the join button so you get one of those badges. Balan says, agree what you said about schools. Your kids are homeschooled. How amazing they are. And we're going and we're in the second year now of homeschool. And it's the best thing ever. Could you imagine not having to set the alarm clock so your children get to wake up naturally? Could you imagine that? Could you imagine not being in a rush to get your kids up and get them changed and get them fed and get their stuff together and get them out, get them out the door so they can put on a mask and they can stand in line six feet away from their friends and they can't tell if their friends are smiling at them or not or laughing at them or not. Or they can't even hear what their friend is saying and see what their friend is saying. Horrible. And then they're sitting in their desk as if they are in freaking prison. Right. No, 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 no. We, we completely pulled that. Our, our children are now a year ahead, educationally speaking, because we follow the we follow the state certified curriculum. Our children have already blown through that. And even more, it's like a rant on homeschooling now in a good way. We spend 45 minutes per day intentionally educating our children. In 45 minutes of intentional education. Our children are exceeding all of their classmates because we're still in the Facebook groups. They're exceeding all of their classmates who are sitting at school six plus hours per day. Because most of, think about it, most of school is what? Hurry up and wait. Sit down and wait. You have a question, raise your hand. I'll ask you at the end of class. Maybe. Sit there and wait. Every, don't say anything. Don't ask any questions. Don't engage. Sit there and wait. Little Johnny in the back of class is acting up again. So the teacher's going to spend their time focusing on little Johnny, punishing the class because of little Johnny, dumbing down the curriculum and content because of little Johnny, not teaching your child the way your child needs to learn and will best receive the information in a manner that is most appropriate to your individual child. That's what we found. So we can now teach our children in the best manner that they will actually receive this information at a time that's most appropriate for them to receive it, right? So what time do we have homeschool? It's when our children are ready to learn and they freaking love it. They love it. So I could talk to you guys more and more and more about this. Um, there is a big character deficient problem in the global political elite. We have to take responsibility for our own lives. Can't blindly trust. Bam. You said it, Henrik. Exactly. Cody. Good, good. I agree with you, Henrik. Cody, I enjoyed Saturday content as well as today's a lot of knowledge. In two videos, I'll be refreshing myself on and re-watching between the playoff games tonight. Definitely. Guys and gals, click the video link. Go and just like start looking at all the videos that we put out. If you're not subscribing to this channel, you're missing out on a lot of great content. The legend Dave B goes through and timestamps these usually within an hour or so after these videos come out. So you can just pick your topic even. You don't have to. I, and we go long. I'm 43 minutes deep into this video. We go long on these videos on purpose so we can answer every single question every single time while we give you that first little you know topic um, um edutainment right so listen to the first 10 minutes of these videos and then pick whatever you want to listen to but definitely go back and, and look at our catalog lots of great content here could you please talk about the microbiota how important is it for you and your knowledge um how important it is it in case to find it for better life? Thanks, Dolce. I follow you or the truth. Well, let me screenshot that so I can do a deeper dive because this is a very big topic, one that I am very um, experienced in. And everything we do here at the Dolce Diet and Fitness, number one is based upon absorption. When we teach the our, our nutrition coaching certification course, the DDC, which is coming up let me just share it briefly uh, with you. We actually have, act, by the way, we have the Mastering the Weight Cut Seminar, dolcedietshop.com. I'll, I'll add that link after this. Um, but also we have our certification to become a Dolce Diet Certified Nutrition Coach. If you pre-register right now, this will be in March, I believe. Um, yep, March 11th, 12th, and 13th. Pre-register right now, massive savings. But we spend quite a bit of time focused on 
the digestive system and the microbiome. And this is the most important part of health and fitness and athleticism and body mass composition. It's not what you eat that matters. It's what you absorb. And if you do not cultivate a healthy digestive environment, I don't care what you do. Nothing else matters, right? It makes sense. Like, let's say you work, you make a million dollars a year at work. Whatever your job is, your boss says, I'm going to pay you a million dollars per year. Here's the million dollars. I'm going to give it to you. And a big fan is blowing it. Every time he goes to hand it to you, he lets go. And the fan just blows the money away on Friday. And you're like, well, I make a million dollars. And I said, well, how much do you have to show for it? You're like, well, zero. That is a poor digestive environment. It's kind of a rough metaphor right there. That is a poor digestive environment. It's not what you consume. It's what you absorb. Most people have very hostile digestive environments due to just a lifetime of poor eating. And there's, there's so many different issues. Um, Balan says, oh my God, first fitness professional talking like this. God bless your family. Oh my God, bless your family. We need more families like you. Very sweet. Thank you so much. We're working hard. Like, I'm a I'm, I'm two-time girl dad. I'm just a dad right? First and foremost, I am a dad before anything else. I am a dad. I am a husband married to my, my wife for 21 years. Miss Brandy Dolce and I, 21 years deep into the relationship. How rare is that specifically in the fitness world with all the, 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 the low integrity adulterers running around out there just going to expos so they can get their rocks off? I mean, dirt bags, right? I'm 21 years married to the same beautiful, amazing woman in a tremendous relationship, cultivating this family, this lifestyle, well, that matters to us so we can raise amazing humans in our daughters and we can make this world a better place. So hopefully this comes across in everything that we do here. Cody says, had a rough past two days due to personal reasons, drinking inconsistency, coming off cycle, cold turkey, and was actually first introduced to, introduced to the Dolce diet in 0910 by my dad. Awesome. Well, Cody, you've had a rough time of it, my man. I understand that. Take a moment. Appreciate how hard it's been. Now let's get to work. Let's start thinking forward. What can you do right now to be better, to be healthier, to make better decisions? What can you do right now? Now, if you came off cycle cold turkey, you want to contact a doctor. You need to get jump started, right? If you, you are, let's, I don't know what you're on, testosterone and coming off cycle. I'm assuming you're on steroids. You're coming off cold turkey. You need to get jump started. Most likely you probably need to run a quarter of ACG, maybe a little Clomid so you can get things working again, but you need to go to a doctor, work with a doctor, get blood tests done and get yourself boosted back up. If you do that within two weeks, you should feel a thousand times better. Within a month, you should be back up to full blown, full operation. Awesome. If not, brother, you can struggle for six months of the emotional roller coaster, which is real. Post cycle depression is real. Muscle tissue breaks down. You get a lot of body fat. Emotionally, you're all over the place. Strong, strong, strong suggestion. Go to your doctor, get your blood work done, tell your doctor, and then look for however they can help you get back up to normal. Don't mess around, my man. We're always here for you. We're in your corner. Brandon, good stuff. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate you. Uh, Dolce is the single most influential fitness mind for me. Thank you. And it's even easier to follow now than ever. YouTube, rather than just knowing about the three books we once had. I'm busting my ass for you guys here on a Sunday, right? All day, every day, three videos Monday through Friday, one video Saturday, one video Sunday, Instagram lives, YouTube or um, Instagram exercise demonstrations. Uh, we're adding because you guys were asking for exercise and workouts. We're adding more of that stuff too to the stream. Um, whatever we can do to help you, we are absolutely freaking lutely doing our best to provide you with helpful, useful information. Now, if anyone's interested, consider going to the Dolce Diet.com. And starting our four-week or 12-week personalized diet and exercise program, it's like setting the GPS to your future body. Our programs are incredible. We have the four-week program. We have the 12-week program. Very inexpensive. Dramatically over-delivering on any value. Anything you spend, we are dramatically over-delivering to you. Full money-back refund, which is there. Read the terms and conditions. Everything is here for you. Um, I mean, look at this. How beautiful is this? Online, laptop, desktop, iPad, tablet, mobile phone. Everything is here, accessible, available to you. I am literally in your pocket all day, every day.
son of a gun. There you go. Click the link below, thedolcediet.com, and save 20%. We have that transform promo code. That is definitely worth it. James, my brother. What's up, homie? Good to see you, man. Crushing it. Of course you are. Never outworked. Ever, ever, ever. I'll be alcohol-free in April. Can't. It can be done, but not alone. Bro, I'm so proud of you, man. So happy for you. Crushing it. Goals, baby. Goals all day, every day. Goals 1% better every day. One decision at a time better. Black or white, yes or no. Will this be better for me or worse for me? Better for me or worse for me? And only do what's better. Remember, buddy, we got that goal. We're looking at 15 pounds. Are you down one pound yet? Are you down just one pound yet, James? Come on now. You got this. You got this. You got this. I know you do. I want to see you crush that goal. Thanks, coach. You got me through my entire workout. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, guys and gals, it is time for me to jump off right now. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for being here. Thank you so much. Click the links below this. Remember, we do have our um, certification and our Mastering the Weight Cut seminar. That will be in two weeks. If you're interested, definitely go to dolcedietshop.com. Check out the Mastering the Weight Cut seminar, January 29th. Check it out. These are selling out fast. It will be live and remote via Zoom. You can save $50 right now by pre-registering at dolcedietshop.com. This seminar is freaking awesome. I walk you behind the scenes on weight cutting and dramatic weight loss in a short period of time to get super dried out. How do we work with the world's greatest athletes? And I bring real stories working with Chael Sonnen, Ronda Rousey, Vitor Belfort, Quinton, Rampage Jackson, Johnny Hendricks versus GSP. I bring you behind the scenes of all those weight cuts, tell you exactly why we do what we do, exactly what we do, what the results are, and then how it can be modified for you and your specific goals. Let's say you're not going to fight GSP for a world title, but you are going to your high school reunion. You're getting ready for a wedding. You're going to spring break or summer's about to pop up and you want to look your best. Maybe your, your child is a amateur wrestler or a gymnast or a swimmer, and you just want to help them with this knowledge. The Mastering the Weight Cut Seminar is definitely for you. These always sell out. DolceDietShop.com. Um... Balan says, where do you buy your meat? I can't remember the name. It's certified Piedmontese, Balan. Just click the link below this video. There is a link in the description below this video. It's certifiedpiedmontese.com. And use the Dolce promo code. Just promo code Dolce. You'll save 25% plus get free shipping delivered to your door in two days. Certified Piedmontese. You, you see that little orange Right there, right there, right there. Bam, bam, bam. There it is. It's hard to do that. It's like backwards. Certified Piedmontese. But you can click the link below this video, and uh, it'll take you right to their site. What else do we have? Uh, Dolce is absolutely right. The truth never changes. And this video, I'll actually, there will be a certified Piedmontese. I'll actually have the team queue that up for you. There will be a, a quick certified Piedmontese promo after this video so when when we log off just hang on for an extra minute you'll see the certified piedmontese promo so you understand a little bit more about it i will be back on again tomorrow guys and gals thank you all for being here and until next time boom this episode is brought to you by certified piedmontese go to piedmontese.com and feed your family the same way i feed mine right now use promo code dolce to save 25 percent on grass-fed grass-finished beef with free delivery that's piedmontese.com